Greetings, dapplings, and welcome to a new series for the channel, Anno 2205, a game published by Ubisoft and developed by Blue Byte, another game company, another developer that I have followed for a long time. I'm very, very uh, keen on playing any game that Blue, Pi Blue Byte uh, produces. And this game was released yesterday. And is one in a very long line of games. It's a very large franchise, the Anno series, and I am an enormous fan. As such, I have done my best to avoid any kind of spoiler. So much so, in fact, that I almost missed the release date being yesterday. And it was only by chance that someone mentioned it. I was like, oh my god, and uh, immediately went and purchased myself a copy. Now, I've been a fan of the franchise since around about Anno 1503. Most of the Anno games uh, have been set in the past, and they're generally kind of like a colonial or, or city management game where you take a much more hands-on... It, it's a much closer scale to the people in your city. It's, it's not kind of like the sprawling cities with millions of people living in them that you get in things like city skylines. It's much, much closer to the ground in that sense. But it also has a strategic element there. There's combat. I'm not sure if that's going to be in Anno 2205, but there has been in the previous installments. Now, in the last game, Anno 2070, was the first that really moved into the future. So you were dealing with kind of close human uh, Earth future events and technology. This is significantly further in the future. And we are going to be playing with considerably more advanced technology. I, again, am not going into this with any foreknowledge, except the very roughest premise of the game. So understand that this is going to be blind. I am going to be learning this game as I play it, and so the first couple of episodes may be a little bit slower than the ones following that. I usually wouldn't go into a strategic game blind, as I'm not sure there's as much to be gained from that, but because I'm such an enormous fan of the series, I thought there may be some value in catching my initial and genuine reactions to the game and, and the changes that have been made in this most recent installment. So that's why we're going to be doing this blind, and uh, I hope you're going to enjoy. So I'm let's go ahead and start. I'm glad you accepted my invitation. Samantha Beaumont, Global Union Hello, Supervisor Sam. of the Lunar Licensing Program. Your lips are not moving in we sync with your voice. We have a lot to discuss. But first, I'd like to introduce you to your artificial data amalgamating messenger. Okay. Thank you for participating in the Lunar Licensing Program. The program stipulates that your corporation set up operative spaceports to okay. act as bases for a new wave of lunar colonization. Fantastic. You will further assist Global Union in the development of a fusion energy reactor to right. avert Earth's impending energy crisis. That's a pretty, pretty reasonable goal. I am going to say right now, though, Officially, if the moon was that big... Only mega corporations are allowed in the program. Okay. But I personally took a stand for you. Oh, thank you, You just you, have to sign in with your corporation name. I barely know you, though. This doesn't qualify you for any kinds of friends with benefits things. I'm just going to put that down now. The same goes for Adam, though. As I understand, Adam is an AI. Adam is no Hal, though. That kind of oddly, hello, I'm very measured in my responses. I am to be trusted kind of voice. Mm, I, I still would prefer Hal, honestly. Even the Hal that I know is going to betray me and try to kill me. I would totally prefer Hal's voice over Adam. Just going to say that right now. Enter corporation name. Well, Sam, you have put in a good word for me. I, I still am suspicious. I'm suspicious of anyone who would go to the length of putting in a good word for me with a mega corporation right off the bat without really knowing me. Uh, but I guess um, in your off honor, Dapper Beaumont, uh, no, I'm not going to add any weird initials after the end of the corporation. We'll be just Dapper Beaumont. There we go. Hopefully this squeezes off, you know. Thanks, but I need to see your corporate logo as well for identification purposes. Really? What kind of corporate? What would this say about a corporation? If that, in fact, what would this say about a corporation? Uh, that doesn't sound good. That is kind of like, wow. Gather achievement points to unlock this logo. That's, that's kind of like Warhammer 40k logo right there. I would 
actually take it if I could. There's a kind of a weird dragon. Uh, maybe. There's an alien. Um, an Illuminati. Hmm. I'm going to go with this one. It looks suitably spacey, but quite neutral at the same time. My superiors at the Global Union had reservations about you, <sighs> but I've convinced them. They really, Sam, you're being too to good to me. You high-grade territory for wow. new corporate headquarters. Choose a sector. You know, maybe I was wrong about you, Sam. Maybe you're just actually a really nice person, but I'm worried about what kind of favors you're having to call in on my behalf at this point. I'm a little bit uncomfortable with how much you're doing for me right now. Uh, okay, Walbrook Basin. With one remote and several large islands, Walbrook Basin is rich in mineral resources and provides ample room for settlement. The basin is known for its def uh, defunct dam, which fell into ruin decades ago. 64,000 acres, 17 mountain building sites, 24 coastal building sites, and project for energy. Cape Ambar is a cluster of islands allowing easy access to many riches of the sea. Rumour has it lost technologies that lie just beneath the surface. Uh, more coastal building sites, obviously, but only a few less mountain building sites, but a lot less land overall. Project for rare materials and Viridun Coves. A small, hardly colonizable island is the gate to the vast plains of Viridun Coves. The beautiful scenery is the site of Global Union's latest prestige project. Wow, that's a lot of land. Uh, quite a reasonable amount of coastal building sites. Not that few mountain sites comparatively. Project for ornamentals. Don't hmm. want to be rude, but we have a tight schedule. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm, I, I am rushing, but I, you know this is the kind of choice that I feel a lot is uh, a lot is going to be influenced by. So I don't want to make it too quickly. I think we're going to go for this project for ornamentals. I I can't I can't resist. Almost there. We just okay. have to negotiate the terms of your contract with Global Union, Very funding well. conditions, and the like. Relaxing game for builders. You receive extra credits from your employer in case of bankruptcy. You receive bailout funds at good conditions. 100,000 started cattle. Increases warehouse outpost. Increases revenue from employees. Advanced. Challenging. Ah, oh, there's no normal. For strategist. You gain standard credits from your employees. In case of bankruptcy, you receive bailout funds at tough conditions. Uh, regular warehouse output regular. I mean this actually seems normal expert for experienced anno players Which I would actually consider myself you receive less credits from your employees. There is no bailout bankruptcy leads to permanent loss of the corporation hmm. I'm gonna go with advanced because I am aware that quite a lot has changed in this game from the previous sitting so I'm not entirely confident with it, but I have played every anno game from 1503 so maybe i'm underselling myself here but uh, we're gonna roll with this i could perhaps go into advanced settings but i'm not going to for now perhaps that'll be for another time damper beaumont viridian coves on advanced you are now entering phase one oh. of the lunar okay. licensing program seriously adam the can global I union swap you assigned with you territory in earth's temperate region Very to well. establish a spaceport and a base of operations. Fantastic. The construction of a space elevator to Global Union headquarters is also required. For further instructions, I don't speak like to your lifts. official contact I... person. Global Union mm. wishes you success. I can only imagine that if I have a party going into that lift, the dialogue options will run out very quickly. Wow, what a big place. beautiful vista. We'll see if it's big enough for ambitions like yours. Oh, I doubt it. My ambitions are very big. One of my colleagues already has high hopes for the area. Fantastic. I'm sure he will ask you to join in his latest prestige project. Very well. First things first, though. The protocol demands you bring a spaceport into operation here. Very well. I will do my best, Sam. The spaceport building site off the coast is still unstaffed. But as soon as you've built the necessary housing, your construction team will be moving in. Okay. All right, Ludinus licensing program, work in progress. <clears throat> Developing a spaceport will be a great deal of work. Let's call in the professionals. Attract a population of workers. Build residence and connect to the warehouse. I know a lot of things to keep in mind. Connect. Rice farm. But Adam compiled you a database where you can okay. access all the information you need. Adam. Right, okay. Build and connect a biopolymer factory. What is this? Tutorial. 
And it's called Anno 2205 is an econo uh, economy builder. Your task is to supply your ever-growing populace with goods and services. Build residences and factories from the construction menu. While building residences, hold your mouse button to fill an area with several of them. Use the middle mouse button or comma and full stop to rotate buildings. Very well. Okay, well, let's go ahead. What kind of buildings do we have? Demolish mode. No, I don't want to demolish anything. Workers, ornaments. Okay, well, I imagine we just need to build housing and roads then. We've got a little road here. Now, whilst I have some experience with previous Anno titles, I'm not sure how the buildings are going to react in this one. So I'm probably going to make some initial mistakes based on assumptions. But we'll just go ahead and plop down a bunch of of houses around there. Got work to do? We're on it. Fantastic, I approve. Construction options expanded. There we go. We're gonna need roads around them to give them access. Okay. Factories from the construction menu. Now we've got a biopolymer factory. Sunflower farm provides bioresin for further processing. Uh, requires bioresin. Employees provides workforce, generates revenue, houses up to five employees, construction costs, biopolymers, and a rice farm provides organic food needed by your employees. Production per minute, organic food. Is there any readout of how quickly I'm going through my food? There probably is. I'm just not aware of it. Okay, we're going through this. Consumption, minus two. Okay. New blueprints Ooh. ready for implementation. Fantastic, I approve. Now, this will fit there. Um, okay. Organic food is perceived as needless luxury by many megacorps. Okay. Good to see you share the union's perspective. Now, I'm not sure how much these produce. Output, oh well, output of five then. We're going to be good for a while with two of those. We're now stockpiling food. We're not producing any bioresin, not producing any biopolymers, obviously, because we don't have any bioresin. Transportation Center provides your factories logistic services to keep productivity high. Also, Wind Park provides energy to power factories. Product productivity drops when the effective zone of several wind parks overlap. Okay, so we've got a fair old bit of room there. We are going to want a sunflower farm or two. Maybe even three. Uh, let's see. We've got all of this area down here. Up. It's kind of an odd shape, though. We're probably going to want to uh, put some factories down there rather than housing. There we go. And we can't build it against the walls for obvious reasons. There's that down there. Now that is consuming energy. Do we have any information on our energy? We Our warehouses are producing 50, and we're using 20. How much of these consume? Five each, and it's these right consume here, I guess. You know, nothing fancy. That is right. Now, I'm assuming, as with the previous annos, the goal is to basically get them as satisfied enough that you can upgrade their home to the next level and thus gain either more workers or more skilled workers, that sort of thing. Organic food, they want water and they want information. These are not satisfied yet. Okay, biopolymers are going to be needed because we actually need them, quite a lot of them, for building. So, biopolymer factory. Bit of a different shape. And we can't quite fit it in there, but we could fit them down along this road, it seems. Now, usually, there will be a limit to where you can build based on your warehouses. I'm assuming this is my warehouse. Where it can reach. But I can't actually see the distance. Maybe these are the logistics centers? No. Possibly not. Now, it needs a lot more biopolymer that I can uh, use, but this will be fine. So, one per. If I plop that one there. Great. Building we'll be material fine. shortages shouldn't be an issue anymore. Glorious. How much power is it drawing? 10. 
Okay, well, we've only got 20 left. We've got eight... Uh, 28 employees. Workforce providing 75 from the warehouse. Workforce required is 95, so that leaves us only with eight. How many employees does this require? 30. Yeah, so that requires 35. Okay, well, we need a lot more. Credit balance. Employees, 104. Warehouses, 100. Maintenance, 240. We definitely need more. Welcome. Hope everything's Ooh, all right. That was quite useful. Thank you. So, how much do you actually provide me, then? Houses up to five employees. Are all of these for the... Time to report uh, myself so take I actually look like everyone is living in them, but... We're going to go ahead and we're going to build another stack. And once again, up and around. There we go, people moving in. Now, that was interesting that there was bioplastics just on the floor there. Oh, wow, bridge that we can make. I'm assuming these outlines are things that I'm going to be making in the future. Right, we need a little bit more. We're almost there, though, for the first one. Build residence, connect to the warehouse, build, connect to rice farm, flower farm. Yeah, we're going, we're doing okay. construction crew is one Fantastic. of the first ready. Keep up the pace. Hurrah! Your competitors will try to catch up. Oh, no. That is not good. the next construction stage, you'll need qualified ground staff to operate the spaceport. Okay. Make sure to adhere to union standards while providing the required infrastructure. Very well, Sam. Spaceport is furnished with high-end equipment. Skilled operating personnel is a necessity. Attract operators. Produce water. Attract a population of workers. Up to 200. Build and connect info dome. Warning. Oh. Unfulfilled demand for specific consumer products. Uh... Right, okay, I so that like would at all. be these people not getting specific consumer products. Power-wise, we're still doing okay. Provides water needed by your employees. Requires coastal building site. It produces 5 water per minute. Construction costs 500. Biopolymers are 5. We've got plenty of both. Now it looks... Oh, actually, that is quite useful. You need this desalination plant. These days, it's the only way to come by drinkable water. Okay, that's kind of terribly worrying. Now, that's requiring 35 of our workforce, 10 power, and 6 logistics. One used up constantly. Logistic maintenance one. Let's have a look. My transport center is giving me 50. So far, we're using 19. So that's basically ability to route the vehicles along the roads. Now this is a pretty much a, a staple of the Anno, Anno games, is having these kinds of road networks and having your logistics move it around efficiently along the networks. Okay, so we want to get more and more and more workers. It's a good day. All the more so now you've dropped it. Aww. Oh, you're just a sweetheart, aren't you? What do you want? All right, we need an info dome. What do we need for that? We need more workers for that one. Very well. Let's have a quick look at what we're consuming. We're doing fine water. Yeah, we're actually doing more than fine. So, let's go ahead and get even more workers. Okay. Well, that is going to start... Digging into our food stocks. Now, we're not actually stockpiling, which is interesting. We're just producing. This is how much we're producing, but it doesn't seem that I'm actually putting it anyway. Well, that's a bit of a change from some of the annos. Because you could do all sorts of things with trading, that sort of stuff. But perhaps certain basic resources are simply used or discarded. And you have a production versus consumption, but then end goods actually get stockpiled. We'll see. Well, we're actually starting to get up there now. My humble four walls. Come in, sit yourself down. Ah, oh, you sound like the sort of bloke who would offer me a cuppa as well. I like you already. Uh, we're doing okay with our workforce. Power, not so good. We're probably going to have to look at building some more power plants in the kind of near future. But we want 
even more housing. There we go. Now this may not be the optimal way of setting this up, because certain buildings, like um, with another staple of the Anno series, is having like service buildings. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any good examples, but like a school or a fire house, uh, that is a fire station. New buildings available, fantastic. New blueprints ready. In for fact, this may be one of them. It may have. If I put it there, the, is the road showing me where the information reaches? That might be the case. But this, for example, has an AOE. But this is for um, overlapping with its own type of building, in which case you get diminishing returns. But in the other annos, quite often you'd want to build your houses in a very specific way to kind of maximize the service buildings that you could get in there that would cover the greatest amount of houses. This is a great game if you've got the sort of mind that likes playing with, with kind of like Tetris puzzles. Right, we've got enough biopolymers, got enough credits. Let's get the info domed down. Can we fit it over there? No, but we can pop it down there. A broad range of information services. This Fantastic. will enable your employees to develop their interests as well as their skills. I like it. Now, we are using more energy than we have, so we, at this point, want a wind farm. Fact, can I place it down here? No. Could place it over here though. And I'm going to. There we go, that gives us a little bit more power. Fantastic. Right, okay. Now then, information supply, major surplus. So that's giving me an extra ten. I see. Well, we'll start out with uh, the first people. Any work to do? Uh yeah. I want Remarkable you to be an operator. Progress. You've assembled construction crews and ground personnel faster than I was expecting. Fantastic! I like being praised. Ready for the first major hurdle. Yay! Wow, the they need a lot of things. Connect your city with the Global Union Space Station via a space elevator. Okay. So far, only megacorps like the Big Five use such technology. Very well. But I'm sure you have the same potential. Oh, Sam, I really I'm worried that you expect. Uh, Far too much of me, but uh, your confidence is reassuring in an odd way. Right. On the whole, it's a decent workplace. And you're being far too kind. You've got all of the basic needs met, but none of your advanced needs. You need vitamin drinks, rejuvenators. Wow, really? I'm going to have a population that rely on drugs to keep going. Uh, not sure about that. Neuro implants and security. Well, you know. As a budding young colony upgrades, I suppose we are going to start having the Undapa folk moving in. But we need a lot of operators. Sorry, you must be uh, accustomed to more comfort. No, no, it's fine. Let's get all of these upgraded until we run out of excess. Can I just do this on a load of you at once? Can I maybe just Information surplus, like mm, massively like upgrade you all. No, all right then. Oh, I'm gonna upgrade this little area. I think it actually requires some of my bio polymers. Yes, so I am limited in a way. But there we go. Whole big area of operators. Now these should actually allow more people to move in. I believe. I'm not entirely certain about that, but. Uh, is there a way for me to find out? No, not easily. But that is going to be it for this first episode. I am probably going to be playing an awful lot of this game over the next few days. So you can expect fairly frequent uploads as we explore its potentials. I hope you've enjoyed this episode though and will be joining me for those future ones. But until then and as always, do take care.